I guess they put a horse up onto it. I guess you'd call this an A-frame barn. You see daylight. So when they hammered it on there, it would cover up the hole to keep it from leaking. Some old hubbies. Old hubcaps from like the 70s that they got in here. There's still hay in here. A bird box maybe. A mud dauber city in here. The original. You see some square nails. Anybody up there? Can anybody hear me? Well, folks, good morning. We're out at a beautiful old 1890s mansion. Huge mansion. Um, this was an old orange grove. They had horses and cows and a bunch of stuff. Had a servant quarters out back. There was a post office. There was barns galore, a starter house from right after the Civil War. Gentleman here moved down from uh, somewhere up north. Uh, he was an officer in the Yankees in the Civil War. Came on down here to the south, right when Florida was kind of, you know, hadn't been brought back into the Union, you know. Um, so he built this house, a little starter house. It took him like 10 years to build the big house, 10, 20 years. And this is the old barn. This is like the only outbuilding that is left. There was one other one that got tore down recently. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do a little tour here of this old barn. Well, I guess you'd call this an A-frame barn. It's got kind of a lean-to on either side built into the actual barn. I don't know if that's after they built that or not, but there's the walls in the middle. There's kind of a lean-to on either side. Oh, hey, Mr. Dove. <clears throat> yeah, we got a colony of doves over there. But it's very weathered, and the roof needs a whole heck of a lot of work. Termites are getting into it. Yeah, that whole thing's pretty much hollow. And you can see daylight through the barn, all over. So this thing fills up with water pretty good. I'm not sure if it's the original roof or not, but it survived all the hurricanes. It's got the old lead style. These are roofing nails. It's been touched up a couple of times with some more modern ones, but then it's got square nails in it. The original, you see some square nails with some more modern Phillips nails. These are the old roofing nails. They made them out of lead. So when they hammered it on there, it would cover up the hole to keep it from leaking. And now they use like rubber and all sorts of different stuff, but it's been patched up many a times and it's all bowed up. This thing doesn't have much longer on this earth, but it's still pretty cool that there's some nice old square nails still left in this thing. Yeah, there's some very new nails when they were trying to patch it up. I'm sure the facing and everything's been redone. These are all regular old round head nails. But the roof has seen some better days. Let's see where they've tried to patch it. But it, I highly doubt anything is going to get done with this ever again. It's probably going to be just as it is. Unless they get a boatload of money. The county actually owns this now. Yeah. Big old newer step that they put on out here i bet yeah that's the hay door the hay loft probably would have had a pulley system going up there a lot of moss and lichens on it 
they obviously cut away a bunch of roots but this whole thing was enclosed they did that many many moons ago but there is some cool stuff just posted up out here left old ch chests and stuff I'm surprised all this stuff is still in here honestly it gets a little bit of work done on it but not much finish the outside tour there's the backside some old gates and stuff that are all knocked down whatever this thing is I don't know what it is but I guess they put a horse up onto it I don't know when but it's been uh, sitting here for a long time oh, four hub wheels I guess we could figure out a date code about the wheels. There's DOT numbers. C2E5. I don't know if you know. I don't. No idea what this was even for. But it obviously had lights. Oh yeah. You can see the steel coming right out of the tire, so that thing ain't moved in many, many moons. There you go. A little bit of damage from the old hurricanes lifting up on it. So I guarantee flipping tea of water is getting in there. Big old fancy hinges on this thing. Alright, we showed you in here. One of the lean twos. There we go, mud dauber city in here. I guess they tore a bunch of old mud daubers down, but here's the troughs. An old map, just a bunch of random stuff in here. There's some original stuff still hanging up in here, belts and hooks and whatnot. Very skinny door. There's the stairs. We obviously can't get it in there now, but. Yep, there's still some belts and uh, whatnot hanging from these nails up top. That's a really skinny doorway. I guess they did that so the horses and stuff couldn't climb up in here, but. Some old hubbies. Old hubcaps from like the 70s that they got in here. Oh, look at that. There's still hay in here. There's a bunch of mice and stuff in here. Just old furniture and whatnot. A bird box, maybe. Stairs up to the attic. We ain't going up there. But I will stick the camera up there so you can see. Pretty cool. Very old. Big old dirty hinges. All right, let's show you the attic. There's the hay loft. Yeah, we were here roughly a couple years ago. We started hearing bang, bang, bang from the top of this building here. 
sounded like somebody was just whacking on the roof super, super hard. And it would just keep doing it and keep doing it. And I came over here and it would stop. I'd leave, bang, bang. So I'm pretty sure this old barn here is haunted. Uh, I don't know why else there's nobody here. It was just me all by myself. And somebody was rapping on the top of this thing super hard. Shoved the camera up in there, couldn't see anything. Now that I said that, it's probably gonna start doing it again. Show you around the other side. Bunch of old wood and stuff in here still. More old hubcaps, old Chevy. Bunch of old pieces of metal. An old saddle that's rotten to the ground. Bunch of old wood. Oh, that's cool. Look at that, they just put sticks up there to hang stuff on them in this lean-to here. But yeah, this thing's definitely getting water in her. Show you the other side up on the roof, inside. See if you see a ghost. Anybody up there? Can anybody hear me? Is there anyone home? Come on, yeah. Hello, I heard something up there. I guess we'll find out if there was somebody up there. I got no idea. We'll see if we start hearing bangs like that. That's what it sounds like. Here's the animal pens. I got no idea what the hell this thing is. Big old pieces of brass, no idea. I'm not a farmer, I don't know. It's hollow, a pipe of sorts. The pens, they would've went on way yonder. I had a ton of pens here back in the day. It's been updated, obviously. Barcodes, big old. I don't even know what size these would be, but they're huge. It's another entrance to another gate, but there's a community over there now. It's all rotted out in the middle, but outside's good. Oh, there is something up there. I can see trash bags. Hopefully there's no dead bodies up there. Square. Big boys. Yeah, pretty cool pen, pretty cool old farm, old farmhouse. We can't go inside the house, but we can show you the barn. Neato, oh, hitchhikers. See the wood, oh, bunged up. There's the edge. Animal pens in the barn. Well, folks, hope you enjoyed checking out this old barn here. If you know exactly what kind of barn this is, please let me know. I've looked and tried to figure it out. It's not like the most ancient barn in the world or anything. It's just a late 1800s barn, but that's pretty old for down here in Central Florida. I know up north you all got fancy 1600s, 1700s, like round barns and bank barns and huge barns, but Little old poor Florida down here, back after the Civil War. A mansion was like a, you know, eight or nine room, three, four story house. This, this actually technically had five stories, technically. It actually has a basement, believe it or not. Never seen a basement in Florida, but there's one at this house. There is a root cellar down here and then you got a first floor, a second floor, an attic, 
And they had one of those viewing towers up on top of it that they tore down like 50, 60 years ago. So it had like a mausoleum type thing. I don't know what you call it. It's not a mausoleum. Another little room that you could climb up through the attic and you could have a 365 degree view of your entire property. I'll try to show you a picture of one. They had one in the uh, Hocus Pocus, if you remember. The very top of the house, there's just a big old tower up there. They had one of them here. There's the basement. Believe it or not, there's a basement. Old bottles and stuff. 